comes out super soon, especially. This is another good one. Um, Psychonauts. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wasn't there oh, a trailer yesterday for it? Psychonauts 2? Huh? Wasn't there a trailer for Psychonauts 2 yesterday? Was it? I don't know. I don't At know the if they Xbox yet. show? I, I, I think there know. was. Is this supposed to come out later on this year, or is that, did it get bumped to next year? It probably did get bumped know. to next year, but, but like... Damn. I, I'm trying oh, to remember because I, I didn't watch the Xbox show yesterday, so I kind of just like got cliff notes of it. I did mm -hmm. see the Halo gameplay, and fuck, dude, that looks so much fun. Yes, lot open world Halo. Open world Halo sounds so good. Has been it has been what I have been screaming for Wait, for pause. years. Pause. I'd like to watch it again. Sure. Repeat that last bit. What bit? Open world Halo. Open world Halo. You're not mysterious, dude. Are we okay, Lobby? I... I did not think that could be done. <laughs> I've seen the trailer. Watch the, the trailer for it after you're done tonight. I did not think it would work. Yeah. And granted, I haven't played the game. But it, but oh, it looks like it'll that work. demo was so cool. <laughs> That was such Robin, a... you know what I can't wait for? What can you not wait what? for? I can't wait to squat up with the boys in co-op and go riding around in the Warthog. I literally told my that my group of friends because we we the last like time we hung out like in person because both the pandemic and we graduated, um, we played Halo Reach all the way through campaign together. It was a whole week. We blocked oh, out a whole weekend. Right. We played the campaign. We played multiplayer all weekend. I sent them the trailer. And I said, when this game comes out, we're getting it on PC, and we are going to play co-op together. I do like the grappling hook. That was, that was cool. Yes. Oh, the hook shot. I love... Any game with a grappling hook is immediately, like, top of my priority list. Cause, the only okay. thing that... Go for it. Oh, no, you go. You go. Uh, I was going to... The thing I'm worried about, because when I watched the trailer, I was like, why do these God weapons damn it. suck? Like, there's no oof to any of the weapons. Like the uh, there's no like God. punch to them. Exactly. Yeah. Like like their soul rifle. It might as well just been a pea shooter. Like remember back in the day when you first play Halo Combat Evolved, you, you shoot the assault rifles get that. <laughs> and this one's like pew, 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 pew. I don't know. I'm yeah. scared that the weapons aren't going to have a lot of power. If the D if they fucking nerf the DMR, the fucking like the the fucking marksman's rifle, like the semi-auto rifle, not the battle rifle, but the other one. I'm gonna fucking shit myself, dude. I'm not joking. I will drop pants. <laughs> and I hope the graphics are aren't like what they're supposed to be, because the graphics were like compared to that first trailer a long time ago, where it yeah. is good. Yeah. I definitely think that it didn't look as good as that first trailer, but it also was like, oh, it's a development build. It's still like a few months out. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really. I'm not gonna I... complain about a a development build not looking as good as yeah. it probably could. But the one thing I did really like was the uh, was the pilot dude. He he was so yeah. annoying. I, the only thing I could think of when he's going like, "No, I'm angry. No, it's because of you. It's because of me." All I thought about was that scene from Phantom Menace where Jar Jar Binks is like, "Monsters out there! You all thinking he had no power? Why do you think he was making trouble?" That's all I could think about during this whole every single. So thing he reminded you of Jar Jar Binks. Uh huh. <laughs> By the way, the chat apparently forgot you were here. <laughs> they literally <laughs> Master Code has arrived. I been here the fun yeah. has arrived. Okay. Yes, it's true. Yes, just because the fact I know how you all are excited for the Halo games, I will of course do this for you. <laughs> oh. Ah, jeez! It freaking splattered everyone all over me. Oh, it's splattered. <laughs> 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 Fired. Well done, GG. <laughs> it's like the first time when they tried to make a Mjolnir armor and it literally blew a guy apart. <laughs> I thought it broke, yeah, I thought it it broke his arm and then it killed him. <laughs> yeah. But uh, okay, I got, I'll I'll do one more thing on Halo, and if you guys want to have anything else, that's fine. Uh, I saw a lot of people complaining about like the graphics of Halo. 
I have to say though, the art style looks so good. I love the colors. Yes. Like, I think that <laughs> Halo 4 is probably one of the best looking games of its era. Like, it is still shocking to me that that game came out in 2012 on the Xbox 360. Mm hmm. But, like, I don't really like the aesthetic of it. I think it goes way too far into kind of the dark, you know, muted colors. I think that yeah. that's been a problem with Halo since Combat Evolved, pretty much. Like, oh. Halo 2 kind of has the bright green suit armor that I personally like. I like that color. 3 kind of mutes it to be more kind of dulled. And then 4 and 5 are really dull. And this is just so bright. And bright. There's so much... It, it, the colors, man! I love well, if, them. If I remember correctly, they made the, like, Mjolnir armor, like, to be, like, noticeable because, like, the humans wanted the Covenant to know that the Spartans were coming for them. Yeah. Like, like it was it was specifically made so that the aliens knew that they are going to die. Yeah, like the the armor in ha the armor in Halo three and four it's noticeable. I just don't like those dull muted greens and like cause it's it's very like late Xbox three hundred and sixty where it's like everything is really dull because it wants to be realistic. Uh, I am fine with eh. hyper realism mixed with crazy fantasy colors. I think that is like. It's such a good aesthetic to me. I cannot wait for Stalker 2. Like oh, I've yeah, been Stalker 2 is a thing. I've been waiting for a sequel to Stalker Call of Pripyat forever. I have been waiting for that. I cannot wait for myself to get fucked over by another rad storm. Like I am so glad Xbox exclusives are going to also be on PC. Cuz like I'm I'm a one console kind of person. You know, just because I'm broke, that's the reason. Yeah. It's not a superiority thing. I'm like, I just want to get a console. That's my video game box. It plays things. But, man, there's a lot of games that are coming to Xbox that I'm like, I want this so badly. But there's also Spider-Man Miles Morales. Yes. Oh, oh. oh, that game looks so good. I'm so... I am also waiting for the inevitable sequel to God of War, yeah. uh, because I just, I like how, like, God of War's story God was Kratos wasn't, didn't want this. He didn't want to fight, but now he has one. Yeah. But it's obvious I'm, that Balder knew who he was when he got there. Yeah. He was like, like, I thought your kind was supposed to be... Oh, you go. No, no way, oh, Balder I was just... He was a giant. Oh, he thought he was a giant. I thought he thought he was Greek, but that's uh, that's okay, that's even I better. Can, um, I'll help you out here. So um, that's even better. Yeah. So you know how Balder was sent by Odin, right? Yes. Balder was sent to find Faye, Kratos. Yeah, wife, I know. Who yeah, 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 yeah. So when he found Kratos, and you know, Kratos is really fucking tall and really Big. unfamiliar because he's not from, you know, the land of the Aesir, of the Norse gods, the Aesir yeah, and the Vanir. Yeah. He just assumed that Kratos was also a giant, or more accurately, he thought Kratos was the giant he was after. Yeah. Now, obviously, Which was wrong. we know Kratos isn't a giant. <laughs> I just want to see what, what is that? I want to see what they're going to do with like how he opened up the uh, like the mural and it showed you know the eye of Ra and you know the uh the triple spiral of the celtic religion and like the japanese uh symbol uh symbols for war i just want to see what they're going to do yeah. with the other gods i mm. like yeah. I, i'm not probably gonna get a ps5 for a while just because it's a lot of money and my friend is selling me their ps4 when the ps5 comes out for really cheap so i'm gonna be finally playing stuff like spider-man and uh god of war but like there are so many things that sony's been teasing for the ps5 i'm just like Oh, that's gonna be fun. I just One want. Console at a time. I just want this from the new God of War. I want like all the gods to convene. Also, they confirm that the uh, Mesoamerican gods exist, like the Aztec, the Aztec and like Mayan pantheons exist, because those are part of like the Temple of Tyr. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just want. I just want all the gods to meet and like they're all like, okay, guys. So what? What? What's all going on? Uh, and Ireland's just giving everybody these weird looks, and they're like. All right, Lou, you always give us these weird looks. What's going on? Why, Dogdo, why do you guys always act weird around us? What the? Oh, do you want us to say it out loud? 
the fucking incest. <laughs> you two are fucking your siblings. We just got on a boat and came back as gods. We didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, god damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Piss off. The only ones out here who aren't committing incest are fucking <laughs> Odin, and Odin's an asshole. <laughs> oh, and there was a Psychonauts 2 trailer that was released. Oh, cool. We have confirmation. Yeah. Shit. I think that, like, I, I think that, oh god, my brain is fucking falling apart. Oh yeah, all these games that, like, I'm really excited about, like, to get to finally play, or that are coming up that I'm excited about, yeah, they all look great, but... They're not gonna have as much time as I poured into Stardew Valley. Mm, yeah, <laughs> that game <laughs> is my favorite game ever created. God, I love it. It is, it is my comfort. It is the thing I will come back to when I just don't want to think and I want to just play a game that makes me happy. Like that one and the Arkham series. Which God, I want an Arkham game so badly. It's been so long. I'm starved. I am starved. Like, My oh, brother. I was bringing up the Halo grappling hook earlier, and I, I said that, like, any game with a grappling hook is, like, at the top of my priority list, because I love the Batman games. And there is no better grappling hook than the Batman games. Grapnel boost is the greatest mechanic ever to exist in those games. They're so, it's so good. He's got a point. Grapnel boost is, like, anytime I see a game with a grappling hook, I'm like, okay... Shoot. But it doesn't have grapple boost, which is just like Doom Eternal. I like you. You're doing a grappling hook. That's good. It doesn't have grapple boost. Well, I mean, that to is... be fair, Doom's grapple hook isn't necessarily about yeah, grappling. it's, not about, it's, it's about, about pulling you towards and around your enemies. But it's... I think imagine that mechanic. But in, but if you want to, you can blow by your enemy into another enemy. Because that think... would be awesome, actually. You just go into your enemy, rip through them, and then into another enemy? Grapple Boost is the greatest mechanic ever created for a grappling hook. Uh, Duct Tape Pwn asked, what are your favorite consoles? Super NES. That we've owned or that we like, just in general? I would guess just in general. I yeah. love GameCube. I never owned yeah. it, but I love it. Guess who still has his GameCube? Here. Listen, okay, I'm a baby. We know. <laughs> no, guess who still has his GameCube along with Fire Emblem Dawn of Radiance? Who? Pat Dawn of, or didn't don't you mean Path of Radiance? Uh, the one. There is a uh, uh, no. It's Path of Radiance and the Radiant Dawn. Right, right. Because yeah. I had Radiant. I had Radiant Dawn on the Wii. And I kept every motherfucker alive because I was not about to lose everything I worked fucking 36 hours for. <laughs> yeah, I I just, the amount of games on the GameCube that I love, that are just so much fun. Like, I, I think I said it last week that I was just going back and randomly replaying yeah. Simpsons Road Rage, which is just one of my favorite games for no reason. It's great. GameCube no, had the best it's... Mario Kart game. It, mm, oh, that's a hard one. Mario, Mario Kart Double, Mario double Kart Double Dash. Dash. Really but I will also lay out two other games that I think might be my favorites. Eight Deluxe. I just think it's you know modern Mario Karts. I I really like them, and Eight Deluxe is really fucking good. And Mario Kart DS. That's Mario the Kart. Hard one. Mario Kart DS was fine. I think a lot of people get nostalgia from it because it was a game that it was a Mario Kart that you could play on the go. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is great, but I do have one problem with it. Yeah. It's the fact that they added a second item slot to emu kind of emulating the whole like extra item slot from your partner carrying it in Mario Kart uh, Double Dash. Why? Because the, the whole draw, at least for me, in the original Mario Kart 8, was that the fact that the coins existed as a random thing inside of the item boxes, which meant that you could potentially fuck yourself by going for an item box. Giving you two item slots basically negates the fact that you could get a coin. You can just go, oh, I got a coin, and I can get another item and just get rid of the coin. And now I'm perfectly fine. Yeah. See, I also just like... I, I'm a, I was raised on Mario Kart DS and Wii, and Wii... Oh boy, 
item distribution. I am all for as many items on the field because I love chaos. You know what? Um, so I'm, I'm... Two items let's make it insane, and I love it. You know what used to irritate me whenever it came to the um, the multiplayer mode for uh, what was it? Uh, Mario Kart DS. What? Is that during multiplayer, some asshole would use some cheat code and have the invincible Starman mode, but instead of using <laughs> it to their advantage of winning a game, they just continue moving around and bumping into you and, like, not even let you continue with your game. You're just constantly getting knocked around back and forth. Okay, okay, okay. That's a dick move. Every now and then, I was that kid. <laughs> we would do, we would do stuff like that, where, you know... One or two of us would do that stupid fucking Starman thing, Ugh. and we would just be the biggest assholes about it, because <laughs> it was just funny. And it is funny when it's happening to somebody else. And I guess if you if you have a group of friends that are are not like super competitive about it, it's great because it's just such a stupid thing. It's fair. Yeah. Mario Kart is I I love Mario Kart, and it's, I love it's, Double Dash, but mm, that's a hard call on that one. What hello, faggots. Hi, Peter. Hello. Hello. Oh, I know that guy. Wow, you know when he enters. It's just that deep voice. Uh. Anyways, Robin, you mentioned that your favorite game was uh, uh Stardew Valley. Yep, it's just the best. I have to throw out that my favorite game ever, and it's not the best game that I've played, but it is my favorite game that I've played, is Limbo. Yeah. Oh, Limbo. Because I remember uh, downloading that game on the Xbox 360 when I was a little wee babby kid, and just oh having such an amazing time just being like, all this, like, this like mis mystery around the world and the atmosphere and the big fucking spider and then I get the I fucking kill it the spider getting to rip its fucking legs out fucking killing the son of a bitch as it chased you ah oh. no it you got to rip I remember you got to rip out one of its legs after it was already dying because you yeah. tripped like an Indiana Jones sequence and then you duck and the big boulder crushes the spider yep and then you can yeah. just rip out one of the legs just to add in emphasis. And I was like, yes, this is what you get for fucking with a child. I, I had a lot of that same experience with Stardew, where it was like, I just was, when I was, because I heard about fucking the game. hell. But I had never, like, I hadn't played it, you know, I hadn't watched reviews of it, or let's plays of it. I went into it pretty much blind, and just discovering all these things was so cool to me like the first the moment you go into the cave for the first time and you fuck and you discover like the monsters there and you're like oh my god this game has a fighting mechanic holy shit holy shit holy shit mm -hmm. or just like or the first time you go to the stardew or uh, what the fuck it's called i i need to go back and play some more stardew at some point i've taken a few months off of it because i, I don't think i played since the last update which was like in december just because i got really busy this year but I want to go back and play Stardew. I really want to start a new Stardew file. Just no! to play it all over Damn. again. Ugh. Oh, fuck! Real oh, shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. We, Holy we, fuck. <laughs> we are get. Uh, who here has heard of the uh, the puzzle platformer uh, Little Nightmares? I have. Th it's oh, apparently getting a sequel. Damn. Yeah. It was announced for 2020, but I guess that's not happening anymore. But hey, uh, we're getting a sequel. That's one of my. That's another game that I enjoyed greatly because it was just one of those fucking like "what the fuck is going on" type of games. Yeah. And those are just the best ones. <laughs> like, who here has played it like through to completion, or at least seen like videos of it through to completion? I haven't yes. seen it to completion, but I have. DLC fucking as well. Logic. The fucking like the ending of the main story. What the fuck? No, the ending of the DLC. What got the me fuck? Quite a bit more, honestly. The the like... naked the naked grandma in the. Ew. Oh, no, not that one. Not no, I'm one. talking about the boss, like in the DLC, the naked grandma in the water. 
Oh yeah, and you kill her with a fucking TV. Bros. Yep. You Ooh. kill- you- you electrocute her with a- with a TV. You're like a little kid in this, like, monstrous, like, old lady is trying to fucking, like, drown you and eat you. So the fucking kid's first solution is fucking push a- a, a turned-on TV into the water and let her fucking electrocute herself. I don't care. Brothers. Yes. Mm -hmm. You've heard of cracking up in a cold one. It's time to torch a hot one with A oh, on the God, dreams. Oh, God, here we go again. No, he's torching a hot one. Ah, God damn it. Here we go again. Yeah. Here we go. So apparently, apparently Six is going to be coming back as a, like, a computer-controlled character in Little Mike Nightmares 2. Is she going to, like, kill everybody again, Logic, do you think? Again? I mean... Because of how she was in the, sec in the first game. From, the, from all the stuff I've heard of, it seems to him <laughs> that the dark power she has is actually starting to kill her. <laughs> And your objective is to stop that from happening by stopping. So we're supposed whatever. to save her. I mean, to be honest, regardless that of bitch, what she ain't a gnome. Ah. Fuck that bitch, she ain't a gnome. I don't care. Uh, Did you play the DLC of it? Let's, of honestly, game? it wasn't her fault. She Listen, like, she was dying. It's like she of... was dying in hunger on a moor full of corrupt fat guys who want to eat you, corrupt fat guys who want to chop you up, a corrupt lanky dude whose arms you have to cut off, and then a corrupt bitch with a who wants to eat your soul to become younger. Who's probably her mother. Let's not forget that part. <laughs> well, we don't even know if that theory is even true. We don't know, but maybe we'll find out in the second game. But still, I don't give. A I understand hunger pains. I get it. You know. Goldy. Don't eat yes. the gnome. The gnomes did nothing but what? help. What game are we playing? The gnome thing got me. Or the menu. Out who that yeah. gnome was. <laughs> guys, I've thought of... What about the... I, I can't hear an what idea. Peter is saying. Sorry. What if I mix my emergency into apple juice? <laughs> you live forever. Are Your you... immune system. Peter, and... are you stoned? Yes. Yeah. Did yes. you have a bowl? I took one hit out of it. I still have to finish it. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Um. You remember that stuff an... is strong. It is very strong, and I love it. <laughs> I... Seriously, no, I've been doing this because um, I'm been getting used to working at Skynet, also known as Amazon. Uh, and my legs are kind of jello because I'm standing for ten hours. So like, a way to mitigate that until my body gets used to it, because that's only like about about a week you get used to it.